Hello everybody, this is Twin Flame. Today, I'm here to share some good information with you who are interested in the awakening of your consciousness. No gain without pain. Are you familiar with this proverb? Then, I would like to say, no awakening without pain to encourage your endeavor for the awakening of your consciousness. Many people are making a lot of efforts for the growth of their consciousness. However, strictly speaking, human efforts do not lead to the growth of consciousness, but instead bring the expansion of consciousness. The growth of consciousness can be achieved through the awakening of consciousness for which you must pay in the form of physical and mental pain in advance. Today's talk will deal with what will happen to your body and mind while your consciousness is being awakened and after your consciousness is awakened. Captain Ureka's message for today is symptoms and signs indicating that your consciousness is being awakened. Please listen carefully. In the case of artists and other people who are engaged in creative work, if their thoughts of today are the same as what they thought yesterday, they may fail to focus their minds upon what they are doing. If their thoughts a month ago remain the same as their thought of today. The sources of their ideas or imagination must have been exhausted. If their current thoughts are the same as their thoughts a year ago without change, they are suddenly lazy. If their present thoughts are not different from their thoughts 10 years ago, it is evident that they just live their lives without finding any value or meaning in their lives. If someone just live a life even without thinking about his life, it means that his consciousness has not been expanded any longer. On the other hand, if someone can just know the nature of things without any effort, it means that his consciousness is awake all the time. The origin of consciousness is spirit energy. Those who have high cosmic ranks use 5 to 8 percent of their spirit energies to exert their mental activities, whereas those with low cosmic ranks employ 8 to 12 percent of their spirit energies to carry out their mental activities. The elite group occupying the top 1 percent of human beings on earth, known as artistic geniuses or creative minorities, are those who use about 12 to 14 percent of their spirit energies. When a person is integrated with his original spirit, he can use about 14 to 16 percent of his spirit energy. The light workers and heavenly people who are destined to open a new spiritual civilization after the uprising of the earth tilted axis is ended will be able to use 20 to 24 percent of their spirit energies. Spirit consciousness is not to be awakened through prayers or spiritual practices, and prayers or spiritual practices will only be helpful for the expansion of consciousness. Human consciousness cannot be awakened by human efforts alone. Human endeavors and experiences will only help the expansion of consciousness. Spirit consciousness can be awakened only by the light of the heaven. 
The awakening of consciousness can only be achieved by the Creator's light, specialized in the awakening of consciousness. A spirit is made of energy with high vibrational frequencies. The consciousness of your spirit or your spirit consciousness cannot be awakened even by the energy of your original spirit. This is because the consciousness of a spirit can be awakened only by the stimulation of the light whose vibrational frequency is higher than that of the spirit. Anyone who has his spirit consciousness awakened will be given the gift of the heaven and there are a few ways of granting heavenly gifts. First of all, heavenly gifts can be awarded in a folder method. The heavenly information given to a person at his birth is stored in the form of a folder on the layer of his subconsciousness or unconsciousness. When the time comes, the information stored in this folder is supposed to be opened right after his spirit consciousness is awakened, the time of which is set in his life program. The opening of this innately given folder of information is manifested in reality in several ways, such as spiritual enlightenment, the achievements of Do Tong or Shin Tong, the birth of a genius, and the bestower of the ability to know the truth without any effort. When a person's spirit consciousness has been awakened, the opening of a folder of information with which the person was born is the most preferred way for the heaven to award a gift to the person. The information contained in that folder determines the level of his genius or the features of his talents. With the opening of the folder, he will come to know the nature or truth of objects and phenomena without the effort to learn, and he will also exercise a high level of creativity and ingenuity, knowing ten things by learning one thing. He will have so-called natural talents. The opening of the innately given folder of information is accompanied by great physical pain. Such an inborn folder of information is not to be opened naturally. Typically, those who have such folders are born with very sensitive and fragile constitutions. In order to open a person's innate folder of information on time according to his timeline, the vibrational frequency of his body should be sufficiently increased, which takes 3 to 10 years. In the case of a person born with genius, his spirit needs to release its spirit energy in a relatively high amount from an early age. A series of heavenly tasks to allow a spirit to increase the release of spirit energy is called energy alignment, and in most cases, this process is done by increasing the vibrational frequency of the body. Symptoms that appear when the vibrational frequency of the body is elevated are as follows. Firstly, the process of increasing the vibrational frequency of the body requires the opening of the drainage-specific acupuncture points and the meridian sewage system, which causes the subjected person to feel chill or fatigue or have cold symptoms regardless of the season. Secondly, the awakening of spirit consciousness can be achieved 
by increasing the release of spirit energy from a spirit, which must be preceded by the explosive dissipation of an enormous amount of negative energy. The release of negative energy is accompanied by the discharge of negativity inherent to emotions and consciousness. As a result, the person may have severe mood swings or experience explosive anger or depression without any special reason. Thirdly, the awakening of consciousness needs a huge amount of sleep. The target person may have to sleep all day long or may feel crave for sleep even if frequently sleeping or napping. When your consciousness is awakened, you should have enough sleep unless you have to what is essential to your life. The awakening of consciousness requires increasing the vibrational frequencies of the heart and shin pole, which causes tremendous back pain or shoulder pain. In addition, for the awakening of consciousness, the vibrational frequencies of the heart and brain or those of the shin pole and brain must be elevated, which leads to huge molar pain. The second way that heavenly gifts can be awarded to the person whose spirit consciousness has been awakened is a downloading method. This way does not activate an innately given folder of information, but it is conducted by downloading high dimensional heavenly information onto the layer of human subconsciousness or unconsciousness. In this case, the recipient spirit consciousness must be sufficiently awakened. His spirit energy must be fully available and the vibrational frequency of his body must be high enough to accommodate such a gift. This is a way by which an ordinary person suddenly becomes smart and intellectually competent. It is a way by which an ordinary person becomes a completely different person than before through an accident or event. This method refers to the way in which the information downloaded on the human subconsciousness or unconsciousness by the heaven is activated by the energy of the heaven. This method often occurs in those who perform prayers or spiritual practices. This is a way to make ordinary people special or genius. The downloading method, which is to be given to a person whose spirit consciousness has been awakened, also requires increasing the vibrational frequency of the person's body, which is accompanied by enormous physical pain. In the case of this method, High dimensional information of the heaven is downloaded and stored on the layer of human subconsciousness or unconsciousness and then embodied as spiritual abilities. This downloading method is characterized by the short time it takes to be embodied. In other words, this method requires elevating the vibration of frequency of the body in a short time. So the body suffers more intense pain than in the case of a folder method. Symptoms caused by this method are similar to those by a folder method, but the intensities of those symptoms which the body has to endure in a short period are more than three times stronger than those of a folder method. Through this downloading method, most of the light workers are made to be reborn as such 
on the earth by the heaven. Through folder and downloading methods, saints are made to be reborn as such on the earth by the heaven. The deepening of thoughts by gaining experiences is called the expansion of consciousness. The deepening of thoughts through reading or learning is another way of expanding consciousness. The expansion of the spectrum of thoughts or the shift in the mindset by human endeavor are also called the expansion of consciousness. On the other hand, truth are not something that can be perceived through experiences or learning. Truth are not what can be noticed by performing prayers or spiritual practices. The truth is not what can be resonated through human efforts. The expansion of consciousness alone does not allow you to recognize the truth. When hearing the truth, only those who have their consciousness awakened can notice the truth as truth. When encountering the truth, only those whose consciousness has been awakened can notice and recognize the truth as truth. When seeing the truth, only those who have their consciousness awakened can be resonant with that truth, perceiving that truth as truth, and respond with a smile. Just like Mahakashapa, Buddha's most outstanding pupil who understood Buddha's flower sermon and replied with a smile. I wish all the best for the heavenly people and the light workers whose consciousness is being awakened. October 16th in 2020, Udeka wrote, his message was translated by Twin Flame. Thank you so much for listening.